of my sales videos, I am Kareen Wright. Sales follow-up, that's what I'll be focusing on today. A sales follow-up is what you do after an initial pitch to encourage a prospective customer to take action. Mastering your sales follow-up is a critical skill for a sales professional. However, let's face it, sometimes we do not follow up enough. Research shows that 80% of sales takes five follow-up in order to close the deal. Some sales professionals follow up only once before giving up. Some sales prospects say no four times before they say a yes. Therefore, it is extremely important for a sales professional not to give up too soon. There are various types of sales follow-up techniques. You can use email, telephone call, WhatsApp, or even LinkedIn. If you keep calling a client and the client ignores you, try sending an email. If the client tells you the type of communication method he or she prefers, do respect that. Do not keep calling a client if the client says he prefers an email. Space it out. It is very easy for sales professionals to appear annoying and aggressive if they follow too often. Therefore, try and space out your follow-up. As a sales professional, I try to find out from the client how soon they would need my product if they do confirm. If the client says, I won't in your product until next year, then I can schedule my follow-up accordingly. Keep it brief. Decision makers are extremely busy. They do not have a lot of time on their hand. Therefore, when following up, get to the point. If you're following up by telephone or an email, keep it short. Subject line matters. If you're following up by email, ensure that your email does not get lost. Decision makers receive a lot of emails at any particular time, therefore it is very easy for your email to be overlooked. Make sure your subject line is interesting. Make, personalize your subject line, offer value, and create urgency. Know when to stop. You cannot follow up forever. If you keep calling a client, and the client is not responding, more than likely, the client is not interested. You do not want to appear annoying and aggressive, so you should know where to take a cue and stop. Some sales professionals are afraid to follow because they're afraid of no's. Do not be afraid of no's. No's can actually be a good thing. If a client tells you a definitive no, then you can cross that client off your list and stop wasting time. You can focus on other prospects who are interested in your product. That comes to the end of my video for today. I want to thank you so much for being here. I do appreciate you. I hope this video has been beneficial. Please remember to like, share, and comment. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Have a nice day.